This is the update that has saved Adopt Me, and it all lies inside of this house. This is a brand new editing tool added into Adopt Me recently, and this editing tool has allowed players to go and build some of the craziest things possible. For example, inside of this player's house is a giant map which wouldn't have been possible without this building update. I recently played hide and seek in this giant Adopt Me map and the winner got a free ride potion. But the fact that you can go and create a map like this pretty easily is kind of insane. Like this is inside of someone's Adopt Me house and it uses all of the new build features to allow you to scale things up massive. Now let me just demonstrate to you how this new building feature works. Basically you get an object and you can scale it to bigger but Adopt Me recently allows you to infinitely scale it. So let me demonstrate. This is a video from my friend. They're gonna go and actually customize this themselves. So this is like a building hack to go and make a city pretty quickly. What they're doing is making it black. Then they're going and grabbing this. And that's right, you can use a selection box to select what parts you want to go and move, which is kind of crazy that we've been given all of these new features. So what we're about to witness is them going and changing the color, moving it onto the back of the building, selecting multiple at the same time, and adjusting the layer height to make it look like this is a city's lights. Now what you can go and do is drag and select all of these things together and actually go and make it all big at the same time. That's right, you can upscale a design that you have just gone and grouped and place them together instantly. So instead of having to go and select each one and make it big, you can make a selection and make it all big at the exact same time. Now this is really cool because you can go and create a giant city in a matter of minutes by going and using this life hack. And it also saves you a ton of bugs because it's really easy. Now this means you can go and make some of the craziest things possible such as giant cookies and literally anything imaginable you could make massive if you wanted to, such as this slice of cake is now a bed for myself. I can sleep on cake. Now that does mean some players are coming up with some of the craziest ideas possible, and it's saving players a ton of bucks, which is definitely exciting for many players. I absolutely love this update and is literally saved Adopt Me building. Because building an Adopt Me, as we know, is very expensive and it's pretty difficult to go and get bucks, and there's also a building limit. And the build limit consists of how many items you have placed. So once you've reached the max amount of items placed, you can't place more. But by going and allowing us to go and just upscale one item, it means we can literally make a giant item instead of placing like a hundred walls to to go and make something such as this curtain, you can literally just buy one curtain and upscale it, saving you tons of your space and also tons of your bucks. Now I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this build only cost around 10,000 bucks to make. Now that might sound like a lot of bucks to many of you guys, and 10,000 bucks is like 4,000's Robux worth, but you can just get bucks by playing the game. And this house looks absolutely insane, and I've never seen something so creative. To the point where even Adopt Me's Jesse, the head of manager of Adopt Me, went and replied to a photograph of this saying that they absolutely loved it. And so did Sunny X Miss. Are you missing anything from Adobe's new update? Such as the Sunrise Duckling? Let me quickly show you Blocks Trade. It's a virtual marketplace to show your Adopt Me trade offers. For example, this person's listed a Sunrise Duckling, and then you simply make an offer with what pets that you have. And if they accept, you join them. This website's amazing as you don't have to scroll through tons of servers trying to find someone who has the pet you're after. And there's even tons of categories to select. I've left a link in the description for you to join. Now, many of you might question, why has this saved Adopt Me? Well, Adopt Me has a large focus on building, and it was a pretty big aspect to the game, which went and made a pretty big difference between other games which are similar. So by going and implementing this feature where builders can go and make some really insane things is definitely going to go and excite many players. So all of these builders that quit Adopt Me because of this thing and it cost too much and it was too hard to get bucks, 
they're now actually really excited, which means Adopt Me is going and gaining more popularity. Now personally, I think this is an absolutely amazing update and definitely wasn't something that I was expecting them to go and do, so it's actually shocked me. Now let's go and check out some secret Adopt Me building techniques that will go and blow your mind. Like these things are absolutely amazing, so let's check them out. Now this right here is a love heart, and apparently if you scale this up big enough, it supposedly turns into lava. So they've gone and changed the color of the heart, and apparently the glow will continue to glow as big as you make it, meaning this pretty cheap heart can go and become a giant floor of lava by going and using this simple trick. Now jump on your pet, fly up, and go up. Okay, so let's grab a pet which has fly on it. So we're going to allow them to go and make this a giant lava thing, which will probably cover the whole of the map. Oh, wait. No way they did it already? That's crazy. Look how insane that looks, guys. Wow. The whole floor is glowing red. And it's just placed slightly under the level of the water, which means that it looks absolutely insane. What? No way, that's so cool. This is amazing. Like, just scaling up that small little love heart using the new building techniques allow you to make, like, this giant red water. You can still kind of tell that it's a love heart if you go and follow the shape of it, but this looks absolutely insane. And if we to go and check out the water, you can kind of see it. It's just, just that. That's so cool. And you can see all these particles moving around on it. And it actually glows neon red still, which is kind of insane, guys. These new building techniques are going to be making some crazy houses soon. This is a very small sculpture, and I'm about to go and show you the technique of making it large. In the edit menu, you'll want to select it, and then go and use the advanced editing schools and just make it big. And I was correct, just with one click, this thing has become so big that I can't even see my shadow. Here it is, it's massive. But the thing is, this can only get bigger. You can make this as big as you want to. And then I guess you could even build on this orb, so you could make a giant actual Roblox planet You're gonna on go this. and test out this example by going and getting the biodome bed and also this waterfall, and let's say, let's make them big. So currently, I don't actually have these building features. It says you can make an island with a dome pool. Okay, I'm curious to see how this is actually going to look once you scale this up and actually how big you can scale it up. So as we can see, it's already starting to go and get scaled up and it already looks pretty massive. And it's actually going and growing even bigger. And bear in mind, this was literally a tiny thing a second ago and now I'm, I'm stuck inside of it because it's became that big. So as you can see, you can actually scale up a pretty cheap building part and make it absolutely giant and kind of just turn it into your own swimming pool as you can actually use this as like water and stuff which is kind of crazy that you can scale something that was like absolutely tiny to this big. So that tiny thing that we literally just had has now became a giant dome with an actual working swimming pool and you can go and use this for your builds which looks absolutely insane and considering this was a very cheap piece to go and buy in the first place it means you don't have to buy a mountain you don't have to spend tons of time learning how to build a perfect circle and it allows you to go and get some pretty crazy things now this player has just gone and showed us a quick little life hack by going combining it with the dome upscaling the dome and placing it on like this and we now have an amazing build that literally looks like it would have took you days to go and create and it literally took us one minute. Like this little build hack took one minute to make and it's actually extremely affordable. You can even select multiple items at the exact same time and go and shrink them or go and do many things with these tools. And there's even an option to go and delete multiple items at the exact same time. Now I'm slightly sad that I don't have this feature just yet as this does look absolutely amazing and I think my house would look pretty cool with this. And as you can see, because you can go and shrink them both down at the exact same time, they've now gone and combined the things and you can literally use it as a pet bed. Like, this thing was giant a second ago and now it's absolutely tiny and if you change your mind, you can always go and grow this back up. Click this video here to see me play hide and seek against 16 players in Adopt Me in the giant map I showed in this video.